Hello and welcome to the info video series of Made Easy. Well, when we talk about the next target, which is ESC 2017, well, the pattern has changed, the syllabus has changed. What to expect, what not to expect, what to focus. Well, when we talk about the paper one of Engineering Services 2017, it has undergone a lot of changes. To discuss on the various aspects of changes, today we have with us Mr. A.P. Singh, sir, who is a joint director of Medizi and also a very well-known name in terms of current affairs and general studies. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, when we talk about, I would we will pick up one by one the various topics. So we talk about this topic, that is the <coughs> basics of energy and environment. I mean, today environment is a major concern and a very, very core and a key area of engineering. So what exactly is the nature of this particular topic and what is the significance from the examination point of view? See, if we uh, talk about the environment as a, one of the topics in the general studies, not only in engineering services examination, but every other examination, especially conducted by UPSC, it is having a very high degree of weightage. We talk about the civil services examination, especially forest services dealing with a similar kind of areas over right, there. Sir. Now, engineering services also have got uh, this, uh, this particular topic specifically mentioned. It doesn't mean the engineering services did not have the question from the environment in the past. This year also we did have a very good number of questions. Even sometimes we have seen those questions coming in a large number. And that's what it has always been there. Only this time in the reform syllabus, they are specified that what are the areas which will be there in the form of the syllabus. So I think they are moving more towards the pragmatic aspects of the paper because environment is a major concern across the globe. If you see the entire, right. uh, this new paper one, it uh, gives that kind of orientation. That orientation is definitely there. So I would like to talk uh, like about about the detailed coverage, the gamut of areas which need to be covered in this particular segment, which is about energy and environment. I would like you to talk to our students and tell them about the various aspects. See, if we uh, see a brief part right. of the syllabus, right, if I sir. divide into the basic parts of the syllabus, number one is environment itself. When I say environment, it's a general understanding of the environment, I'll uh, detail about that. But number two is, apart from this, we'll be talking about the basic level of energy, energy conservation, conservation. and other aspects. Number three is especially dealing with the climate change related areas. Then there is a one of the area which has been inculcated. Uh, previously, we did not have a many question from that part. That's an environmental impact assessment. And apart from this, there is a one question related to the pollution aspect, be it the right various type of pollution. So that's a broad categories of the topics which I can mention is mentioned in the syllabus. But then uh, we talk about the details of it. What are the various details? If I put one by one all those areas so that we can have a broader understanding of the subject, then the environment is a very big subject. It is having a number of areas which need to be covered yet, I would say, in a concise manner but in a comprehensive manner. Example, if I give you an understanding of the first part itself, that is the environment. Now, we need to understand what exactly the environment is, right? What are the relationship between the human and environment? And then what are the various components of the environment? And especially, we talk about the question coming from the lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and in particular, the question coming from the biosphere. Then we talk about the specific areas of the ecosystem and ecology which fetches the question. Example, even this year, we have seen in some of the technical papers, the question has come from the ecology. It happens so. That these are the, some of the important areas. So an example, the questions from the ecosystem, ecosystem in particularly comes from ecosystems functions, the structure and functions of ecosystem. Especially we uh, talk about the types of ecosystem, the ecological pyramid, the ecological efficiency, the energy transfer from the one food uh, tropic of food chain to the another tropic of food chain. Then this obviously the question may come from the food chain over there. And then the questions come from the ecotone, right? Uh, the, the ecological niche, the ecological habitat, the ecological succession. The question comes from those areas. Then we go into the broader areas, talk about the type of biomes, and in general, right, then we have a, one of the bigger areas there, that's a biodiversity. The biodiversity at the national level as well as biodiversity at the international level. We talk about the 17 mega diverse countries in the world and one of the country is India. And that's where also the question keep coming in the examination. From the biodiversity, this is one of the important areas. Now, biodiversity is under threat in the many parts of the world. So, question is from the conservation approaches which has been taken. The various conservation measures, be the in-situ conservation or be the ex-situ conservation. In the in-situ conservation, especially we talk about the national parks, biosphere reserves, tiger reserves, wildlife centuries. They form an important areas of conservation and the question keep coming in the examination. This year also, we witness the question coming from those areas, example, the national parks, etc. Then the question may come from the wetlands, the mangroves, the areas which are having a very high degree of biodiversity, especially the coral reefs. They are having a very high degree of biodiversity. The question comes from those areas. The coral reefs which are very much in danger, especially like the coral bleaching related, the question may come in the examination. So that's some of the areas with respect to the environment in particular, if I say. Then there are the questions related to the people who are associated with the protection of the environment, especially with respect to the various movement and the people associated with this. Then the institution at the national international level which are working in the areas of the environment conservation. 
Then we talk about the environment degradation. So what is the environment degradation especially, right? What is degradation is taking place because of the anthropogenic activities as well as some of the natural factors may be responsible for that. But we may mainly focus on the right anthropogenic activities, especially right induced by the human beings. That's anthropogenic. We talk about the bioremediation, right? That's one of the important ways to tackle this problem over there. Right? So that's a, right. Some of the important questions may come from those areas. So the environmental degradation and how to tackle this environmental degradation. Then the question we come from the environmental pollution. When we talk about the environmental pollution, the air pollution, the water pollution, the soil pollution, the noise pollution, the radiation hazards, these are the various areas in particularly which will be dealing with this. There are the right uh, entire gamut of this example we see recently we have seen in Delhi the this, this uh, odd even scheme being launched and we had 2014 right. onwards and we have started focusing more on that especially with this for the air quality part. We have seen recently there's air quality index is being launched having an eight component. So the questions right these are not necessarily restricted to only the static part the question may be even having a kind of a current affairs scenario into the environmental issues because it's a more of a kind of a dynamic subject over there then we come to the most important part of the environmental areas and that is a climate change right climate change which is having a conventional questions also coming conventional in the sense actually the historical questions over there. then the over right over the period of time we are having an international action plan in that direction so the question come may come from those areas example we talk about the right basic understanding like climate and the weather what's the difference between the climate and weather that's kind of a question example we see the climate change taking place, a Nino La Nina kind of an event taking place, a question may be associated with that. Example, the causes and impact of the climate change. When we talk about the causes, there may be the anthropogenic factors, there may be the natural factors. Again, the question may come from those areas. And apart from this, there are the greenhouse effect, global warming, and the problems like ozone depletion, coral bleaching. These are the areas which will be having a frequent questions in the examination. Now, apart from this, if I uh, elaborate a little more, because this uh, environment area is a very big area. So, if I elaborate a little more, then in this, right, in this in, in this particular area, also the question keep on coming from the frequent conferences, the summits, conventions, protocol. Example, this year also we have seen in the engineering services question coming from the Bali Action Plan. Now, this Bali Action Plan, which came from the, right, one of the conference of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, that meeting took place in Bali, a place in Indonesia, and that's how the Bali Action Plan question came out. So, these are the questions related to the conferences, where some of the conventions and protocols has been adopted. Important conventions like Convention on Biological Diversity, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change or the Vienna Convention or the Kyoto Protocol or the Paris Agreement recently we have seen adopted in the Paris yet not has come into effect but that's a kind of a question like right? the Paris Agreement then the Montreal Protocol. These are the key areas. Well, there are the number of other conventions and protocols also. For example, we talk about the Rotterdam Convention, we talk about the Stockholm Convention, then we talk about the other conventions also like Bonn Convention on Migratory Species was in news recently and the question may come from those international convention and protocol. In fact, this this is one of the key areas, the entire climate change and associated areas with that. Then we talk about the one of the area which is specifically been mentioned in the syllabus, that's an environmental impact assessment. Now, we have a different type of assessment with respect to a particular project to be initiated in an area. In one of the key areas of that assessment is environmental impact assessment, like we have a social impact assessment and other kind of impact assessments. So, so this is the one area, environmental impact assessment. We normally, because there is a, nowadays one important concern is this, that the development should not be hampering the environmental resources over there so that right, it is not available in future. And that's why it should not happen. And that's why we are focusing on the sustainable development aspect. And it is one of the key areas in that direction. Now, when we talk about the environmental impact assessment so what are the important regulations in that direction what are the areas where it started from what are the kind of international perspective in that direction and plus what are the steps in the environmental impact assessment that kind of a question may come what are the role of the role of the various parties which are associated with the environmental impact assessment process so that is the one question which may come in the examination and apart from this what are the benefits and the limitation of the environmental impact assessment then there is a one specific area which has been dedicatedly mentioned although i have taken it the last but that is mentioned in the syllabus at the first itself that is the energy area now, what is this energy area, especially the energy, right? We talk about the energy, uh, self-sufficiency, self-reliance, so the energy security is one of the key area. But the question directly may come from the conventional approach also. What is that? That is a, what is like the various uh, types of energy resources available at, at the national level and overall also general question may come in the examination. Then we talk about the renewable energy sources and the non-renewable energy sources. So question directly may come in from the solar energy, from the hydro energy, from the wind, from the tidal, from the biomass, from the geothermal energy. That's all. These are the non-renewable sources of energy or otherwise the question may come from the right um, the, the, these are the renewable sources of energy right. the, the question may come from the non-renewable sources of energy example we talk about the coal petroleum natural gas and these kind of question even atomic energy right one of the important areas india has got a right, huge amount of investment when it comes to this area from the energy security perspective example we talk about the thorium reserve which are in abundance available in india 
India is having the largest amount of thorium reserve in the world and we are having a three stage atomic energy power program and under that actually third stage we are focusing on the thorium based reactors. So when we come into that area again that is one of the key areas of the energy security. So question are expected this year also we had a one question from the atomic energy related from the atomic energy establishments over this that one question came and apart from this there are the, some of the non-conventional sources of energy so the, uh, from those areas also the questions are expected in the examination. In the energy conservation has always been one of the key focus areas of the various examinations. So the question expected from those areas. Well, uh, well, sir, very rightly said. I mean, uh, when we talk about engineering services, I mean, we expect some. I mean, it's considered to be one of the most prestigious, honourable, sensible, and very responsible kind of a position. And I think responsibility in terms of environment, in terms of energy conservation, plays a key role. And I think it sounds very valid to have this kind of a segment in the paper itself. Sir, another question here is that when we talk about the scoring <coughs> capacity of this particular segment, what exactly is the scoring capacity, and what can be the weightage that can be expected in this? This paper? is one of the very highly scoring areas in right. fact I repeatedly keep on emphasizing that not only in this examination in all of the examinations and moreover right here whatever the question comes if you have a careful study chances are that we can go for the 100% of the questions over there. So we can have the quick tips attempt, from yes. you regarding how to prepare for this area? See tips, uh, the number one tip is very simple, there is no shortcut. So first of all, we need to understand what exactly the syllabus may be because this area has only one problem that the syllabus is very wide in nature in right. terms of the areas to be covered. But if we can understand the, the questions which has been asked in the various examination from those areas, then we'll be having a, some sort of understanding of the topic as a whole. And moreover, if we can get a proper guidance with respect to the coverage of this topic, normally you have a chances of covering the topic in such a manner so that almost all the question can successfully be attempted. So the subjective the and the objective part of this paper, the both objectivity and the subjectivity can be questions, covered very We'll easily. have only objective questions in right. the examination. Yeah, subjectivity right. of But, but huh, understanding part that always helps you. Be, helps but you we'll be having only objective questions. Right, sir. Uh, sir, I'm sure the students will definitely benefit from the tips that you've given to them and then definitely this is uh, one of the core and the key areas of paper one. And I'm sure the students, the kind of uh, coverage that sir has already discussed will definitely give you a broad idea about the various areas that need to be covered in this paper. Till then, we wish you all the best from ADC. Thank you and all the best. For more details, visit www.madeeasy.in.